What's up guys? Let's talk about taking care of the Bakur fish. And it is also referenced as the Bicker, Bakur, Bashur. Uh, you can phrase it however you want. I'm gonna call it the Bakur because I've commonly heard it called that more. So um, as you can see here, this is a 75 gallon tank. I have two of them in here. They're known as uh, dinosaur Bakurs. I think that's what PetSmart sells them as, and I think that's why there is a rise in popularity right now because PetSmart is selling these fish, even though some of them can grow two feet long. I'm not sure if I agree with PetSmart selling these fish because a lot of the time these fish, <coughs> excuse me, here's, yeah, but these fish grow way too large and people have little tiny tanks. Usually, I don't mean to judge, uh, but it's just uh, PetSmart commonly has people buying fish and putting them into really small tanks. Let's come to the side here a little bit. This one is about a foot long and um, let's talk about taking care of them because that's what this video is about after all. So as far as water parameters, they are very hardy. Uh, they can actually take oxygen from the surface so the water parameters can be very bad and they still are okay, but that's not to say you should have bad water because, uh, yeah, that's just it's stupid. But as far as feeding them, they're heavy on protein. They are uh, omnivores, obviously, but they need protein-rich food because in their natural habitat, they are commonly eating fish, insects, um, just anything they can get their hands on. They're really, they have really bad vision, so they're really opportunistic hunters instead of uh, predators. What they kind of do is more or less sit there and hide and wait for their prey to come at them, and then they just strike with their fastness. So here's a little better view of this one in the side here. I have a kind of a cool light on here. It's like a 9,000K lighting so you can kind of see the fish easier and they do have a tendency to startle I've noticed that um, so yeah protein rich diet what I like to do is um, I'll throw some feeders in there maybe once every week and a half sinking pellets uh, I, I use the Omega 1 sinking shrimp pellets those work really good with them and what else um, Basically, anything you can think of, crustaceans, shrimp, um, sometimes I will cut up um, fresh fish from the market, you know, like tilapia and stuff, and that sinks. And it's better if the food sinks to the bottom because they're commonly found hanging out at the bottom of the tank. And that also goes hand in hand with having enough hiding spots because they're somewhat of a bottom dweller and they're kind of insecure in super bright lights because their natural habitat is uh, like the dark waters in Africa, slow moving dark waters. And it's, um, that reminds me, uh, sand is a better substrate than gravel. Yes, I do have gravel in this tank. I don't have any sand tanks because I hate sand, but uh, they do very well in sand. They kind of like burrow into it. Uh, it just, you can tell with their sleek body, that's gonna just work out phenomenal for them. And I'm um, trying to think of what else. Uh, water, yeah, here's a cool bit of him just kind of swimming through. Um, this kind of gives you a size comparison to how big he is. That's my hand. There's two of them in there. I was hoping they'd maybe breed, but um, they haven't, and it's been quite some time. I'm trying to think what else uh, water temperature tropical temperatures obviously they're from Africa so anywhere between 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and yes these are somewhat of a you know pet smart sells these fish so I see a lot of them uh, it's like an impulse buy sort of say and you're gonna need a bigger tank than you think because some of these fish get up to two feet long and <sighs> trying to think what else if I forgot anything uh, shoot questions in the comment section awesome fish I've been obsessed with these guys for quite some time and uh, 
I used to have an ornate Bakur. That's one of the real popular ones. A little more expensive than these guys. And uh, they have a kind of a cool coloration. And uh, really, really similar to these guys. Just different coloration. Um, God, that one kind of just looks funny there. It's like floating. I mean, it's not floating. Oh, it's going to go to the surface. They're just odd fish. You know, when I get people in my fish room here, people are just always like, man, what the heck is that thing? You know, it's it's just a cool fish to have in a tank. I'm going to quit babbling. Let me know if you guys have any questions. All right. Awesome.